Mexico's top law enforcement official is standing by his conclusion that 43 missing students missing since September are dead. He says his investigation and the his investigation and the evidence proves it, but it's not sitting well with the families and the controversies surrounding this case aren't likely to subside anytime soon. Frank Contreras reports. Anguished families have been waiting since September for news on their missing sons. The 43 students who attended a rural teacher's college in southern Guerrero State. Authorities say local police took them into custody, then handed them over to the Guerreros Unidos, a criminal gang that executed them, confusing them for members of a rival gang. Mexico's Attorney General Jesus Murillo Caram says forensic evidence, along with confessions by some of the perpetrators, now prove that the 43 students were murdered, their bodies burned at a trash dump, then thrown into a river. It shows the dimension and the depth of the investigation, and it gives us the opportunity and the legal certainty that the students were killed under the described circumstances. The attorney general says the case will not be closed until all those responsible are brought to justice. So far, 99 people have been arrested. Still, family members of the 43 students reacted with anger, saying Karam does not have enough proof to rule the young men dead. We repudiate and reject the fact that today the attorney general wants to close the case this way. They are insisting with their theory that the 43 students were killed and incinerated in the Cocula dump. Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto is urging citizens to get past this tragic event. I am convinced that this moment in Mexico's history of sorrow, tragedy and pain should not leave us trapped. We cannot stay there. But the case of the missing students from Ayotzinapa continues to grip Mexico and has been by far the most serious human rights crisis to confront the Peña Nieto government. Frank Contreras, CCTV, Mexico City.